How do you choose whether to refine existing material or create new material? It's a, it's a tough thing. Um, I mean, one good thing about it being in New York is that there's you perform in front of other comedians a lot, so that pushes you to kind of come up with new material a lot too, because people like start whispering, "Oh, he's doing the exact same set he's been doing for for months or years," and you know, it's sort of like a sign that you're you're stagnated. And uh, so I think it's good to you know, almost like a shark, you got to keep keep going and keep generating new stuff, and also presumably you're getting better, so keep keep making new stuff because you keep getting better at, at making things interesting and funny and um, you know like because you can get an act together and then just ride on that for a while but you know then you've kind of just set the bar that that's how good you are and it's just going to stay there yeah. you know um, so I like but I, th I do think there's you know you can take that too far whereas like um, a lot of times, you know, refining a, a bit is when you can kind of slowly grow it. You know, you've got like this core of something that's working. And if you keep doing it, you know, for months at a time, that's when it can, so you can find different angles on it or add tags, you know, like one line at a time. And, it, and so that like what was maybe just a little joke at first, you know, after months um, of doing it can kind of expand into a real chunk, which is like... Um, depending on what kind of comic you want to be. But for me, that's something that's really appealing when, you know, it's like a whole block of material on like one topic and you really go deep into it. And that's when you, you really kind of cover some ground, I think. What does it mean to kind of create a kernel in comedy and build around that versus building separate pieces and creating a narrative? Well, I mean, I think everyone's got their own way of working. For me, it's like, you know, what's, what's the core of what's funny about this? Is, is there like this thing is getting a laugh. You know, you start, you got to start off with something that's like got a punchline and it's hitting. And then I think you're trying to, you know, add on to that. Like, I don't like to the setup. The setup is like climbing a hill and then you get the punchline and then you can like build on top of that and keep going. Or you can go back to the bottom and try to set up a new, new thing and, and get up there again. And, and the hard thing is getting up the hill. So once you're there, you really want to add to it. Like, okay, I got one laugh off this. Now can I add in something else? Can I keep going? Can I, you know, sort of like doubling down in, uh, what is that, blackjack, right? <laughs> uh, but, you know, you kind of like want to keep building off the previous success. Um, so it's, uh, but that's like a slow process a lot of times where it's, uh, you know, for me anyway, it's like I, I can do a, a joke for like three months and, and it's working, but the, it's that. And then all of a sudden, I'll, one day, it'll just either come to me on stage or, you know, when I'm running through a set beforehand or something like that. And I'll be like, oh, here's another line that I could add. And then when you get, that's like, oh, that's like a free laugh almost. You know, oh, I had to work for like 30 seconds to get this much laughter. And then I only had to work for six more seconds to get another amount of laughter that's equal to that. So, you know, you're, you're getting laughs at a discount if you want to view it in a, <laughs> in a currency way. Um, and that's, you know, you're trying to, you know, if you're like, how many laughs you get in per minute is, you know, you don't want to boil it down too much to a formula, but that's a, a good way to tell how good a comic is. So, you know, it's just, you're being more efficient. 